I'm Lori Carlson, Chief Financial Officer of Rotary International and the Rotary Foundation. And I'm Mikael Ahlberg, Member of the Board of Directors and Treasurer of Rotary International. And today, Lori and I are here to share with you Rotary's five-year forecast. First and foremost, stewardship of Rotary's financial assets is one of the key responsibilities of both staff and volunteers. Rotarians trust Rotary International with a great deal of money each year, especially now with the $4 dues increase. That's right, Lori. More than 70% of our revenue comes from club dues, and therefore our board of directors our committees and staff operate carefully to ensure that the money is used for its intended purpose. Rotary has a rigorous process to ensure that it remains financially strong far into the future and best serves Rotarians, clubs and districts. Our staff and a very active finance committee start by developing key assumptions that are used to create a balanced budget. The board receives the recommended budget and considers additional strategic investments that will drive key programs and projects. The board also approves a five-year forecast, which they share with Rotarians at each institute to ensure that today's decisions support growth into the future. At each of the three meetings of the board of directors, the board receives a report that compares the financial progress to the budget. This serves as a backdrop for the board as it reviews the recommendations that are put before it. So let's take a deeper look at the key assumptions. The five-year forecast is based on a growth of 4,000 members per year from July 2017 through June 2022. That might seem like modest growth, but it's consistent with the forecast delivered to the delegates at the 2016 Council on Legislation and with the trends that we've seen in the last five years. The Council also saw survey results from Rotarians who requested additional support to grow and advance their clubs. 90% of the respondents wanted improved training, better methods to connect with other clubs, additional planning resources, additional online tools, leadership development plans, and social media training. And this additional support comes with a cost. Therefore, the 2016 Council approved a $4 dues increase each year in 2018, 2019 and 2020. And those increases are included in the five-year forecast. Laurie, as you well know, the first dues levy was $1 set in 1910. Mm -hmm. That is when the 16 Rotary Clubs in the United States formed the National Association of Rotary Clubs, or what we today know as Rotary International. In 1910, members paid $1. Yeah. Taking into account inflation, that's about $25 today. That means the real dues increase is about $35 over 170 years. That's less than 33 cents a year. That's right. And Rotary has used those dues to provide value to Rotarians through careful investments and by developing a strong, cost-effective infrastructure. I think it would be helpful to show Rotarians how their dues are spent. Let's take a look at 2018. Revenue from dues pays for operating expenses. These are related to the general operations of Rotary International and can be broken into three categories expenses that directly support Rotarians, expenses that increase awareness of Rotary and support Rotary's image, and expenses to cover necessary administration and compliance obligations. The good news is that more than half of those $60 goes back to directly sustain Rotarians. Whether it is the work of a board of directors, the committees that work on behalf of the members, training and reimbursement of district leadership, or to assist club leadership, 54% of the dues goes to Rotarians. And 22% of member dues support enhancing Rotary's image and creating broader awareness of Rotary. For example, Rotary creates marketing programs and communication assets that consistently communicate what Rotary is and what Rotarians do. We've updated Rotary.org to provide faster and more effective search results, and we've created a new public image campaign with People of Action. 
image and awareness include strategy and planning that is needed to ensure that products developed and delivered to Rotarians are consistent with Rotary's vision and in alignment with what Rotarians want and need. And finally, there are administration and compliance expenses. Rotary plans to spend 24% on compliance and administrative activities in the eight countries where we have Rotary offices. Our operations are complex, but that is what is expected from a global organization with a reach and impact of Rotary. We operate in 29 different currencies, supporting clubs and members in 220 countries and territories. So putting it all together, let's look at the projections. The red bars show expenses that are higher than revenues. This is where the Board of Directors has approved spending from prior year savings for things like regional membership plans or programs to support the end of polio. The green bars show where revenues are higher than expenses. These surpluses will be used to support projects and programs that are needed to increase services to Rotarians. So based on the current forecast, Rotary International is projected to have sufficient funds to meet the bylaws target shown in blue and the board target shown in green through 2022. And that's great news. Money from the dues increase will be put to good use. The board will invest in programs, projects and technology to improve the Rotarian experience. Even before the dues increase started, several major projects were completed. As we mentioned, Rotary.org has a new look and feel. We're continuing to make it more intuitive and provide more direct access to resources. Rotary Club Central is now faster and improves the way your clubs can plan for the future. And after listening to concerns expressed about the global grant software, we added improved functionality and training to simplify the process of completing and tracking the global grant application. But that is just the beginning. With more resources, we will accomplish more. We are working on new strategies to bring Rotary actors into Rotary clubs. We are working on improving online donation capabilities so contributions can be made in multiple currencies. And we are improving services you can't see, like our technology infrastructure and financial platforms, so your experience with Rotary is seamless. You know, Mikhail, I think that that's all I have for the five-year forecast. Do you have any final thoughts? Well, actually, Laurie, I think we covered it all. So, on behalf of our leadership and our top-notch global staff, we look forward working with you to achieve great things as Rotary continues to make a difference in the world.